Hello there, I'm AJ Puzzle Throat, and welcome back to Star Sector, where we are on our way to the planet Tetra, as far as I remember, because uh, we have a uh, we have a mission. And I also completely forgot how to get into the map. Ah, there we go. Now, where's Tetra? Uh, over there, by the looks of it. Yes, Tetra, barren world. Oh, hello. Did that actually set? It did. It did. It set our course over there. Great. Okay, so I don't actually need to do anything else. It's 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 all set. I do need to get out of the map. Ah, there we go. Uh, I wonder if we had to deal with fuel. That is a good point. Hmm. Have we got loads of fuel? Well, you know, we'll find out, won't we? <laughs> Fleet-wide combined readiness. Okay, we're down to 67%. That's not good. How do we know about our fuel? I don't know. Supply usage. The fleet is carrying 175 supplies and requires 183 supplies per day. That doesn't sound good, does it? That sounds as if we should probably buy some more supplies. Okay, wait a minute. Let's see if we can buy some more supplies. What do supplies look like? Ah, where are supplies? Food? Uh, organics? Bulk? You know what? I'll buy some food. How many do we need? Uh, local deficit? De deficit? 10,000 units can be sold to a higher... Okay, we don't have any supplies, do we? We don't appear to have any supplies. Hmm. Well, we're definitely going to need some of those then, aren't we? So, let's take some. How much is it going to cost us? Oh, not much. Not much comp compared to how much we got. So, you know, this is this is okay. This is okay. We can get we can get plenty of food. Maybe a uh, hundred. Maybe a hundred food. Yes. Get a hundred food. Is that going to is that going to like take up all of our storage? No, it is not. Wonderful. What's this? Organics, bulk, complex, carbon-based, molecular and derivatives thereof, with applications in plastic fuel, uh, solvents, polymers, food products, biotech. Like, so it's used for everything. That's a little bit weird, isn't it? Domestic goods. These are the mass production clothes. I don't know. Uh, luxury goods. Where's just fuel? Fuel's there. Okay, we've got 200 and something fuel there. We've got 298 fuel here. We've got enough fuel, actually. We've got enough fuel. But I bought some more food so, you know, people can eat. Because, you know, you want people to eat, really. What's this? Mark something auto cannon. Ah, that's a gun. Uh, heavy mortar. Uh, that's another thing. Okay, anyway, let's 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 move out from the uh, from the buying. Hang on, wait a minute. Did I just not buy that? I did just not buy that. Why did I just not buy that? We're going to have to learn how, how this works. So, we'll buy 100 again. i put that there. Now I need to confirm the buying of 100. Now I've got 100. Right. Okay. I'm sure we're going to learn all sorts of other things later, but uh, that we, we, we'll, learn, we'll learn that now. So, we will get underway. And this is going this way. Uh, we're not going to go at highest speed, are we? Yes, we are. We're going to go at highest speed because that's taking forever. So let's go at high speed uh, and just hope that we don't run straight into an asteroid field. That would be less than optimal. So we'll go over there and try not to run straight into the asteroid field. Now we'll dump that off. And then we'll go there. And then when we get to the asteroid field, we need to go slow. So, S. For slow, as for slow, good. Now these are what we're after. Discovered derelicts. Okay. Wow, there's loads of derelicts. Okay, stop, 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 stop. Okay. Now then, what do I do? Do I just click on this? Do I do I go over there? Derelict. Oh, hello. Your fleet approaches a derelict ship. A derelict laser class... No, lasher class frigate. Uh, drifting through space. It is battered, though determining whether it's recoverable or not will require closer inspection. Explore. Is it covered in mines? That's the question. 
Uh, explore. You receive a preliminary assessment of a potential savage op salvage operation from the exploration crews. Okay, yeah, it sounds good. It sounds good. Consider whether special measures might be taken to recover this ship. Hmm. Yes. Uh, does it look good? It doesn't particularly look good. Combat readiness, 0%. Hull integrity, 21%. It's poo. Okay, some time later you hear back from your chief engineer who mumbles about being a miracle worker to someone off screen before uh, noticing you've picked up the call. Commander, looks like we might be able to pull this off. Though I'll say you're not going to find what I'm going to do in any man manual. And it wouldn't pass any inspection. But then again, we're not in the hegemony fleet. I'll fly. Uh, it'll fly, though. Take a look at the and chief's report and make a decision. Isn't that what I just did? Uh, mm hmm. Right, go on then. <laughs> Supplies available, uh, 166, and it needs 166. Is does it need everything? What I don't know what this means. This means nothing to me. Hmm. Needed for ship and fleet. Okay, so we've got more than we need. I don't know storage points remaining. I don't know. I, this, does this mean anything to me? No, it doesn't. How am I supposed to know? Let's just recover it. Recover it. Recovery. Is that a recovery? What? 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 What am I supposed to be doing with this screen? Eh? Is that how many people it wants? What? 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 All? But what, what does all mean? Recover. 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 How about you recover it? Why don't you recover? Okay, let's just press all because it doesn't. It doesn't seem to want to do that. Now I can recover. Yes, okay, good. Wow, okay, that's good. Uh, so, used one story point, gained 6,500 bonus experience. Awesome. The ISS Ant is now part of your fleet. Great. I don't want to leave totally, though. There's more. Some of the ships in your fleet are at dangerously low combat readiness, below 20%. Deploying these ships is in combat is likely to cause critical malfunctions. Dealing damage, disabling some weapons and engines for the duration of the battle and causing further critical malfunctions during the deployment. It's recommended that you let these ships recover before using them in combat. Ships regain combat readiness over time, and friendly stations offer a quick way to do so and effect repairs as well as hire an addition on additional crew if needed. You can check the combat readiness levels of your ship in the fleet screen. There's a fleet screen? Tell me more. Okay. 51 ordnance points left. What? <laughs> okay. Supplies per day. Right. Total supplies to finish repairs. 14. Lovely. Suspend all repairs. No. Resume all repairs. We'll be fine. Idle officers. Not. Everybody's at work. Good. Okay. Fleet composition data. Um, combat ships 37 all right hmm okay so this is all telling me lots of information that I don't really understand so you know we'll, we'll just if if I fail miserably I can always come back again this is my theory on this so far uh, but this is looking good this is looking good what 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 why am I moving it but this has three thingies Look, look at the three th number of D mods this ship has. What's a D mod? Huh? Oh, no. D mod. Suspend repairs and recovery. No. Uh, mothball. Mothballing ships can't be used in combat or repaired, and do not provide any fuel, cargo, or personal capacity. Mothballing a ship will reduce its combat readiness to zero. Restoring it will require time and supplies. Why the heck would you mothball a ship? 
I don't even know what mothballing a ship means. I think it's like um, decommissioning. I think that's what it is. I don't know anything else. ISS Ant Lasher class close um, support frigate. Yeah, design type Lutech. This ship has sufficient extensive damage which cannot be repaired without a costly restoration at a dockyard. Ah, so I need to take it to a dockyard. Got it. Right, and it's going to cost a lot of money. This is also information. Uh, right, so what should we do? Wolf class frigate. Uh, they seem to be all about their frigates, don't they? Uh, derelict ship Condor class light carrier. There's loads of ships here. Good grief. A destroyer. Hmm. You know what? I could just about go for a destroyer. A destroyer, maybe. Your fleet approaches a derelict ship. Yep, a derelict um, Buffalo Mark II class destroyer drifting through space. Destroyer! I want a destroyer. Give me a destroyer. Oh, that doesn't look too effective, does it? I don't know. Let's either consider whether this ship is worthwhile. Look at that. It looks like it could be a destroyer. <laughs> I'm going to go and try that one. Uh, sometime later you hear back from the chief who mumbles something about it's the same message that we got last time isn't it so take a look at the engineers report uh, and the engineers saying yeah sure fine we'll do that so you know how about we do can we can we put more in why is why does all change if you press it several times <laughs> huh? this I do not understand Huh. Alright, fine. Do that. Leave. So now we've got a destroyer and another thingy. That's that's all I know. Uh, and where, do, where was the fleet screen, anyway? Right, let's get, there's this fleet screen over here. Right! 42 ordnance points left. I have no idea what that means. This one's recovering quite well. Which is amazing, because, you know, we need it recovered. So, that's pretty good. Uh, as for this one, I don't know. It's not as good as our, um, our main ship, which is really quite good, uh, according to my guess. It's, it's basically just an estimate. Uh, but that's it. So, now what? I'm guessing that we need to go back to the other place. I've got two ships. I don't really know how far my supplies will stretch or how far my cash will stretch. So I don't really know whether I should be getting all of the ships, or most of the ships, or just some of the ships, or the occasional ship, you know? Uh, so I really don't know. Drain class tanker. Huh. The ship is pow and powered down, close inspection may yield salvage. Oh yeah, we were supposed to get salvage as well, weren't we? Ah, now then. Uh, salvage, yes. Okay, there's a shuttle there. And uh, there's another destroyer, hammerhead destroyer. Wasn't the isn't the hammerhead the one that we've got? Hmm. Two of those big ships. Uh, two of those big ships. Uh, maybe we'll go for one of those big ships. Oh, I don't know. Let's go for the Condor class light carrier and actually just derelict it. It's time for derelicting or whatever. Destroy it. Explore. Salvage. Is it going to get? Uh, it might get some. Salvage. Salvage all that stuff. They can take it all. Yes. Our, our uh, uh, amount of storage stuff is going up quite a lot. Uh, what's this thing? Fuel capacity. Okay, we have extra fuel. We have, we've got a reasonable amount of fuel. So we do actually know how much our fuel is. And we have um, people. Having people is good. Okay, let's go. Uh, I want that hammerhead thing. I'm really tempted to that hammerhead thing. Get that. Get that crew. I want, I want that. Uh, consider ship recovery. Just look at it. Ah, ah, ah. They're not seen. They don't seem all the way to me. Wait, can't watch this. Salvage crews board the wreckage. Discover that many essential systems are undamaged and the ship could be restored to basic functionality. If not recovered, the ship will be scuttled and any fitting weapons and fighter uh, and something. And so we can. This is almost saying just recover it, isn't it? So fine. Recover it. That, I, I was, that was my plan. So great. 
Uh, so now we've got some some big ships, which is great. Uh, what's this one? Uh, okay, the your fleet approaches the derelict ship. A derelict uh, shuttle uh, drifting through space. Yes, it is shown signs of damage, though determining whether it's recoverable or not will require closer inspection. Explore. Okay, that looks like a hunk of rock, doesn't it? With a with a gun on it. Uh, salvage crews board the wreckage. Discover the that many essential systems are undamaged, and the ship could be. Oh, this one's just a recoverable one. Oh, fine. I'm not doing a very good job of just dismantling these ships, am I? It's almost as if it's it's decided which ships you should just dismantle anyway. This is another one. I don't know. Should I be using all of my stuff? I keep using all of my stuff. I am in in great worry whether I'm, my fleet's going to get too big. What happens if your fleet gets too big? Taurus class freighter. Huh. Explore. Explore. Ah, this one has a consider. You know, when when there's consider as an option, uh, maybe I should break it down. Or maybe I should have the freighter. I don't know. We're going to do chunks of stuff. That's it. We have chunks of stuff. You know what? I feel like we should leave. I really do. <laughs> mm. I feel like we should leave. I mean, we're, we're getting so many things. So many things. Explore. Oh, this one's just like, take it, isn't it? This one's another one that's just like, get it. Get, get this ship. Get it. All right, fine. I'll get the ship. I don't know what I'm doing, but we're, we're considering all of the ships, which is not what I was planning on doing. I was planning on going straight back, but you know, we're doing it. So that's that. Now we can salvage this one because it has the option to salvage. I'm not even considering a lot of these ships because, uh huh. We've got some fuel. Brilliant. And low can go. Right. That's it. That's all of the ships. Great. So let's go to the map. What's this over here? Debris field. Hmm. Interesting. Uh, let's go further over here. Yes. Uh, back to there. No, I don't want to just look at it like that. It's, it's not going to help us. Lay in course. And then we'll go over there. Brilliant. Okay. So back out of this map. Yes. And we'll zoom in or not. I don't know. We'll just go and slow. Slow, slow, slow. We don't want to break anything on our way. That would be real bad. Okay, good. Not breaking anything on our way is definitely uh, it's optimal. Alright. Some of the ships in the fleet are at low combat readiness, yes. Uh, their weapon systems and... This was displayed to me like saying below 20% before. Uh, is this just telling me that I can't go at fasty, fasty, fasty speed? Open the fleet screen. Why would I go into this? No. Why would I go into this fleet screen again? Oh, look at them all. Just look at how many ships we have in our fleet now. I was sure that that hammerhead thing was supposed to be the same as this hammerhead thing. But evidently, it isn't. Can we have a look at that hammerhead thing? Oh, we can move it around with the thingy. That's not what I was looking at. Uh, ah, aha, there we go. Right, great. Yes, it's still below 25% combat readiness. Maybe they don't want us to go at super speeds. Maybe that's it. Ah, oh, well, we're going at super speeds anyway, so get used to it. Right. Slow down. Slow down. Slow down. Good. As the uh, normal people. Okay. Open uh, the comms directory thingy and talk to Zun Masalis. Hi, Zun Masalis. Your fleet approaches a thingy. Yeah, your fleet transmits identification codes. Yep, okay. Open as a common directory. Okay, got that. Welcome back. A bunch of rust buckets, aren't they? But put some weapons on them. Pour, get a proper refit done. And with a dedicated crew, they'll do all right. It's no worse than what the pirates have got at any rate. Speak of weapons. Okay. Yeah, uh, was just about to talk to you about that. Not much to buy on the open market, but we have some stores. 
I've already ordered local storage space to be assigned to you and some suitable weapons transferred there, along with enough supplies to speedily bring the new ships back to full combat readiness. Great. Use them to outfit your sh new ships. Make sure you've got enough crew for all for a full complement on every ship, and then break the rogue minor defences at the inner jump point. Once this conversation is over, press R to open the refit screen. After selecting a specific ship, you can press V to auto fit. That's a good idea. Pick a desired loadout and the ship will be automatically refitted to match it. Ooh, nice. Using the available weapons and uh, stuff. In addition, you now have access to local storage at uh, this planet. And some weapons and supplies have been placed there. To access it, click on the storage button in the trade screen. I'll take it you've got the stabilizing algorithm then. Okay, so we press R and V. We need to try and remember that. Okay, correct. These cores seem like they can work miracles sometimes. Let me transmit the results. Good luck to you. If you fail, well, well, have to send the security force to do the job. You know, the people that we should have sent in the first place. And then it would get very messy. Because... We'd have to send our crew instead. Okay, it's good to know you're already working on a plan B. For when we blow up. Inevitably blow up. Okay, come now, it's not so grim. I have every expectation you'll succeed. Yeah, <laughs> or I wouldn't send you. <laughs> but it's my responsibility as commander to plan for every eventuality and not rely on a mirac miraculous saviour. Now, about these miners. The two fleets guarding the jump point will aid each other if we if you engage one when the other is nearby. So it's best, uh, it'll be easier uh, f to fight if you manage to separate them first. If you can. It should still be a fight you can win, though. Copy that. I'll be back here when the job's done. All right, so I'm just, he needs his trade and then F and refit R. Okay, buy, sell, or refit. I want to refit. Urgh! This does not help. What is with the... There was a refit button. Refit. Let's try that. Aha! When refitting a ship while docked at the space station, you can mount both weapons in your cargo hold and the ones available for purchase at the station. Undoing the changes to the ship loadout, or simply unmounting the purchased weapons, will refund the credits used, but only if you haven't navigated away from the refit screen. Okay. Great. Okay, now we need to go to the new ships. So the new ships are all the ones with the fancy things all over them. Uh, this one looks good. This one's big, and it says it's a destroyer. So really, I oh, want the destroyers made better first, because then I'll have destroyers. Hmm. What's this? Full refit mods? I don't know. I don't know anything about this. Auto refit V. Eh. Oh dear. What's this? Uh, upgraded weapons using extra OP. What the heck? Use weapons better than the ones specific to specify specified in the goal variety if there are what? I don't know. Always add refitted bulkheads? Eh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah? Uh, I don't know. Uh, spend free OP. Spending any unused or ordnance points on flux, vents, capacitors, and essential hull mods will not make any changes to weapons loadouts, will not affect ship modules, if any, and will not spend any credits. I don't know. What am I doing? Give them blast doors. It seems like a good idea. Why would you not give them blast doors? Empty slot. Can I put a thing in there? What am I refitting? <laughs> eh? 
Recent customized designs cancel. This doesn't make sense to me. Just go out of that for now. Oh look, here's a here's a uh, destroyer. Uh, they said that I could just press the V button and it would do everything. Oh. Uh, flux capacity. I don't know. What's what does this do? What does this do? What does it do? I'm giving it more flux capacity. Flux is something that if it adds up over time, well, it does add it up over time. Uh, then it's it's bad if it's uh, if it's um, too much. I don't know what this is doing. <laughs> top speed. It's top speed. Did, did its top speed go down when I? No, it doesn't. Okay. Well, that seems to make. It's good to have loads of the flux capacity, and it's good to have loads of that as well. So th these are good things. Uh, civilian grade hull. Hmm. Hmm. Have I got anything better than that? I don't know. It doesn't tell me. Okay. Interesting. I'm going to have to explore this a lot. So, let's just have a look at one of the others. Interesting. Oh, so that's the ability to add it to the uh, to the things that we're going to do. Ah, that's adding new things. Alright. This is interesting. There's lots and lots to, to work out here. Hardened subsystems. That sounds good. Increases peak operational times for the ships. That's... Uh, heck. There's so many things to think about. Okay, and I, I don't even know how to get out of this. Hull mods. Ah! Unstable injectors reinforced. What's this? OP10? How much OP have I got? What's this? I don't know. Yeah, I'm going to have to have a, a really good look through this. So what I'll do is I'll have a really good look through this and then I'll see you in the next episode once I've hopefully refitted my ships. In the meanwhile, you take care. Thanks for watching. Feel free to watch other things on my channel. Feel free to subscribe if you haven't already. See you next time. Bye for now.